hello students today we will discuss the next part of the landscape of the soul and we have already discussed about the difference between the european and chinese art and today we will discuss about the indian art and first of all getting inside outside art so what is outsider art outsider art is that art that is the creativity or the creation of those who are not formally trained it means they have not taken a degree diploma or any education and even then they have become good painters they have created so many beautiful paintings and to get those insight into the mainstream so there is a contrast between those who are belong to mainstream those who have got education and those who are formally uh, educated and those who are not formally educated they have also created some creations so getting inside the outside art the title of the second part of the lesson is having the outside art that is created by non formal persons who have created their creativity into the mainstream so what has been uh, told see when french painter jean buffet mooted the concept of art bit, art brut in 1940s the art of the untrained visionary was of minority interest so when the french painter jean buffet mooted or given or argued the concept of art bit ki jo french painter jean buffet ne jab apna concept hai wo pratipadan kiya wo aage badhaya that was related to art brut in 1940s art brut is actually that art that is in raw form or that is created by this non untrained visionary untrained create creators so when he had created when he had argued or he had given the concept of art brut the art that is in raw form that is having no you can say formal trained persons so the art of untrained visionary at that time the art of those who are untrained visionary or knowledge was of minor interest that was not having so much interest that was in minority us time pe untrained visionary ki jo art hai wo minor interest mein thi from its almost wild beginnings because when it began in 1940s it was almost wild wild means covered hidden outsider art that outsider art has gradually become the fastest growing area of interest in contemporary art internationally gradually slowly slowly it become the fastest growing area of interest dheere dheere iske andar bahut zyada grow hua area of interest ka in contemporary art internationally contemporary means related to the same time so the art of outsiders that was becoming more and more attractive that was becoming the fastest growing area of interest and not only in a state or country that was international how it happens the genre is described as the art of those so this genre this era that is described as the art of those who have no right ye un logon ka yug tha jinko koi right nahi tha to be artist artist hone ka because they have not been educated formally they have received no formal training or education yet to show talent but even then they had showed the talent and artistic insight or the artistic knowledge re- knowledge related to art their works are a stimulating contrast and their works are stimulating or motivating contrast to a lot of mainstream offerings so the mainstream those person who have a formal education they are belong to mainstream so how did they offer that was totally contrast with their works of the outside आउटसाइडर आर्ट्स का जो वर्क था वो मेन स्ट्रिंग ऑफरिंग से बिल्कुल कॉन्ट्रास्ट में था सो हाउ इट हैपन्स हाउ दैट कंपेरिजन कुड बी मेड 
सो अराउंड द टाइम ऑफ बफेट वॉज प्रोपाउंडिंग हिज कॉन्सेप्ट जिस टाइम के ऊपर जो बफेट है अपना कॉन्सेप्ट है उसको प्रोपाउंड कर रहा था जिस टाइम पे उसको वो प्रतिपादन कर रहा था दे रहा था वर्ल्ड को एट सो वैन बफेट वॉज गिविंग हिज आइडिया रिलेटेड टू आउटसाइड आर्ट एट दैट टाइम इन इंडिया ऑल्सो एन अनट्यूटेड जीनियस वॉज क्रिएटिंग पैराडाइज एक अनट्यूटेड जीनियस था जैसे कि पूरे वर्ल्ड के अंदर इस प्रकार की बातें चल रही थी एट दैट टाइम ऑल्सो एन अनट्यूटेड और नॉट हैविंग ए फॉर्मल ट्रेनिंग अ जीनियस वॉज दे आर ए टैलेंटेड पर्सन वॉज ऑल्सो क्रिएटिंग ए पैराडाइज इन इंडिया एंड हु वॉज दैट हु वॉज द पर्सन वॉज इन नेक्चर ईयर्स ए गो अ लिटिल पेज हाउ डिड ही चेंज अ लिटिल पेज ऑफ अ जंगल एक जंगल का एक पेज था टुकड़ा था दैट ही बिगेन क्लियरिंग जो उसने साफ करना शुरू किया टू मेक हिमसेल्फ अ गार्डन और खुद शुरू किया उसने उसको गार्डन बनाना स्क्लप्टेड विद स्टोन सो दैट ही कुड स्क्लप्ट दैन कार्व दैन काट काट करके जो रॉक्स थे वहाँ पर चट्टाने थे जंगल था उनको काट करके किस प्रकार से स्टोन्स को कर्स कार्व करके उनकी अच्छी इमेज बना करके एंड विद द रिसाइकल्ड मेटेरियल रिसाइकल्ड मेटेरियल ऑल्सो हैव बिन यूज इज नॉन टू द वर्ल्ड टूडे एज द रॉक गार्डन एट चंडीगढ़ जो वर्ल्ड के अंदर आज रॉक गार्डन के नाम से जाना जाता है इन चंडीगढ़ सच ए ब्यूटिफुल क्रिएटिविटी डन बाई नॉन अदर द पर्सन हु इज नेम्ड एज नेक्चर सो हियर अ पिक्चर हैज बिन गिवन ऑफ द रॉक गार्डन ये देखिए दैट इज मेड बाई द यू कैन से ग्लास बेंगल्स and some other recycled material that can be used a rock garden sculpture made of broken glasses by nature so not only this so many beautiful creativities have been made by this person nature at rock garden so it's 80 year old creator and he was 80 year old creator the director nature is now held as india's biggest contributor now he has been held or raised as india's biggest contribution to outside world aaj ke din nekchand ko india ke andar sabse bada contributor mana gaya hai outside art ke liye the 50th issue spring 2000 of raw vision a uk based magazine pioneer in outsider art publications features nekchand and his rock garden sculpture women by waterfall on its anniversary issue cover you can imagine what a great appreciation for nature that a uk based magazine pioneer in outsider art publication jo ek uk based magazine hai jiska naam hai raw vision and that is also pioneer at the peak in specially in the outsider art पब्लिकेशन आउटसाइडर आर्ट पब्लिकेशन के मामले में सबसे अच्छी यू के बेस्ट मैगजीन एंड दे हैड फीचर्स नेक्शन एंड हिज रॉक गार्डन स्कल्पचर स्पेशली वीमेन बाई वाटरफॉल सच ए नेम ऑफ ए क्रिएटिविटी और इट्स एनिवर्सरी इशू कवर इसकी एनिवर्सरी वार्षिक इशू कवर के ऊपर एंड दैट इज ऑल्सो फिफ्टी थ इशू दैट वॉज स्प्रिंग टू थाउजेंड फाइव उसकी पचासवीं वर्ष गांठ के ऊपर स्पेशली एनिवर्सरी इशू कवर के ऊपर उन्होंने अगर कोई तस्वीर लगाई तो वो लगाई थी दैट वॉज रिलेटेड टू नेक्शन वेमेन बाई वाटरफॉल सो सच एन एप्रिसिएशन फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड ऑफ नेक्शन यू कैन इमेजिन हाउ वी कैन प्राउड ऑन नेक्शन द नोशन ऑफ द आर्ट प्रूट और रा आर्ट वॉज ऑफ वर्कस दैट वर इन देयर रा स्टेट अब ये आर्ट ब्रूट या रा आर्ट एक ही चीज़ है इट मीन्स द पार्टिकुलर क्रिएटिविटी विद द हेल्प ऑफ रॉ मेटेरियल वट एवर इट इज सो द नोशन और द आइडिया ऑफ आर्ट ब्रूट और रा आर्ट वॉज ऑफ वर्कस दैट वर इन देयर रा स्टेट एज रिगार्ड्स कल्चरल एंड आर्टिस्टिक इन्फ्लुंसिस जहाँ तक कल्चरल और आर्टिस्टिक इन्फ्लुंसिस की बात है जो वर्क अपने रा स्टेट के अंदर है रिगार्ड किया जाता है दैट इज कॉल्ड आर्ट ब्रूट और रा it means that is made with the help of the ra things like anything and everything from a tin to a sink to a broken down car should be material for the work of art so such type of arts they have been so anything that is related to broken down car 
or a tin sink cup or anything that is broken कोई भी चीज़ टूटी हुई है उसी को मेटेरियल मान लिया गया है इस प्रकार के आर्ट के समथिंग नेकचंद हैज टेकन ऐसा ही नेकचंद ने किया ही हैड ऑल्सो टेकन सच ब्रोकन थिंग्स टू डिजेंग हाइट्स टू ए सरप्राइजिंग हाइट्स दैट कैन स्टन एनी वन रिकोगनाइजिंग हिज आर्ट एज एन आउटस्टैंडिंग टेस्टमोनी ऑफ द डिफरेंस अ सिंगल मैन कैन मेक वेन एल इज हिज ट्रेन और इस आर्ट को रिकोगनाइज किया गया है एज एन आउटस्टैंडिंग टेस्टिमोनी एक ऐसी आउटस्टैंडिंग टेस्टिमोनी और एविडेंस के रूप में ऑफ द डिफरेंस अ सिंगल मैन कैन मेक वैन ही लिव इन स्ट्रीम जब एक आदमी अगर ड्रीम के अंदर लेना चाहे आप यहाँ से मैसेज भी ले सकते हैं इफ यू हैव ड्रीम्स एंड यू वॉन्ट टू अचीव द ड्रीम्स यू कैन ऑल्सो गेट सक्सेस बिकॉज ही वॉज ऑल्सो अलोन वैन ही वॉज क्लियरिंग द पैच ऑफ जंगल ही स्टार्टेड देयर his activities and now we can see what a beautiful rock garden is there so once again he is uh, appreciated by the swiss commission of unesco unesco ki swiss, uh, swiss commission hai unhone usko appreciate kiya hai will be honoring him because it was written in 2005 right now we are in 2020 so it is told right now he has already been tagged so anyhow at that time that was future so the swiss commission of unesco will be honoring him ki unesco ka jo swiss commission hai usko honor kar raha hoga by way of european exploitation exposition of his works ki europe mein uske work ko expose kiya jayega dikhaya jayega the five month interactive show and that was also a five month interactive show uski work ko europe ke andar exchange karke wahan dikhaya jayega kis prakar se this person has done the realm of nature किस नाम से दैट इट इज द रियलिटी ऑफ नेचर एंड दैट विल बिगन बिगिन इन अक्टूबर एंड विल बी हेल्ड एट लीडिंग म्यूजियम्स और ये भी लीडिंग म्यूजियम्स में दिखाया जाएगा ऑफ यूरोप स्विट्जरलैंड बेल्जियम फ्रांस एंड इटली यू कैन इमेजिन हाउ प्राउडली अ पर्सन कैन फील हुज वर्क हैज विल बी शोन देयर इन द डिफरेंट कंट्रीज लाइक स्विट्जरलैंड बेल्जियम फ्रांस एंड इटली so what the nectar uh, this person nectar says the biggest reward is walking through the garden and seeing people enjoy my creation nectar keval is baat pe ye kehta hai ki biggest reward mere liye ye hai ki jab main walk karta hu apne garden ke andar aur logon ko wahan par enjoy karte hue dekhta hu ki meri creativity ko wo log enjoy kar rahe hain that is proud for me not that that has been shown in the europe or anywhere else so that's the thinking of this person so here also the art that is related to outsider art or the art that has been also shown here and different type of arts have been discussed by the nathali travri in this lesson so that's the completion of the lesson now we will discuss the question answer the first one is contrast the chinese view of art with the european view of with examples so aapko chinese view art hai aur european art hai unko with the examples kya hai compare karna hai चाइनीज के अंदर आप किसका एग्जाम्पल देंगे उस वो दाओ जी ने जो क्रिएट किया था एम्पर के लिए वो दाओ जी ही हैज क्रिएटेड समथिंग डिफरेंट वो दाओ जी ने क्या क्रिएट किया एक लैंडस्केप एक पेंटिंग जिसके अंदर माउंटेन्स बर्ड्स फॉरेस्ट एवरीथिंग वॉज देयर देर वॉज ऑल्सो ए केव अंडर द माउंटेन्स वेयर ही सेट टू एम्पर दैट देयर डिवेल्स अस्प्रिक्ट असॉल एंड बाय क्लैपिंग हिज हैंड्स he opened the gate of the cave and he entered in that and after that he also disappeared with the painting so that was the story related to chinese because you will have to tell that it is a spiritual one that can be only understood with the help of the spiritual concentration if you want to understand a chinese art and european art you will have to tell the story of uh, the blacksmith who had painted a fly in the painter's master painter's room and master painter also could not understand that is that is a painting or a real fly so he has made an illusionistic likeness that is the quality of your european so you will have to tell the examples next one is ex- explain the concept of sansui aapko sansui ka compl- uh, jo concept hai wo batana padega in which uh, uh, there is uh, sansui literally means mountain water jiska literally mean kya hai mountain water hai mountain is uh, that is vertical 
and water is horizontal and there is middle void where the interaction takes place mountain is totally dry warm hot and this water is totally liquid and also moist and also cool so where the interaction uh, take place that is called middle middle void and that is important where the interaction takes place without it nothing could happen and it has been also compared with parnaya yogi uh, yoga practice pranayam in pranayam uh, that is uh, taking of breath and stopping retaining the breath and just breathe out and breathe in retain breath and breathe out so where the ret uh, retaining of a breath that is called a middle void and that is also important where the concentration take place ye jo saans hum rokte hain suspension of the breath that is very important where the concentration take place so the writer has compared the whiteness in the uh, in any painting the first white was that is done that is called middle white because that is compulsory without it you can't paint anything so to understand anything you must understand the white paint of the painter that what he wanted to create here and how so you will have to understand the point of the painter in a chinese landscape so that's the concept option here third question what do you understand by terms outsider art and art but we have right now discussed outsider art is the art created by those who have no formal training and they have created a uh, such type of offerings they have been contrast to the offering of the mainstream art product or the art that is such type of uh, such form of art that can be made with the help of raw material that raw material might be a broken sink broken cup broken car or anything that is usable or recycled next question who was untutored genius who created a paradise untutored genius kon hai jisne paradise create kar diya and what is the nature of his contribution to the art so this untutored genius is no other than nature who has created rock garden in chandigarh with the help of the recycled material and the best materials and his contribution to art is uh, you can say outside art or art next question and the emperor may rule over the territory he has conquered but only the artist knows the way within ye jo emperor hai wo rule over kar sakta hai the territory or the realm that he has conquered jo bhi kshetra usne jeeta hai uske par wo rule over to kar sakta hai but the only the artist knows the way within lekin artist ko hi pata hai ki andar kya hai so you can say the emperor can't understand the landscape because he had conquered his only his but the painter who had painted it he know the reality because he had made it with his spiritual and conceptual mind so you will have to tell this the next one the landscape is inner one spiritual and conceptual space landscape inner one hai spiritual hai conceptual once again the same thing it means the landscape if you want to understand a landscape for the chinese painting you will have to include yourself spiritually conceptually and also from physically and mentally both so these are the question answers if any other question that could be asked related to it it might be everything has been already discussed but even this story has not been asked uh, this this is also a chinese story so what is the story about a dragon you can uh, that can be asked a painter why did painter uh, didn't draw eye in the dragon that could be asked so the painter did not draw uh, eye uh, an eye in the dragon because he had a uh, such a fear that it would fly out of the painting if it is completed other everything has been discussed so that's all about this chapter we'll continue in the next